Hello everybody! Welcome to what is for me a Tuesday and I am working again today from the Flavor Forks Over Knives cookbook. I've been using this one a lot because it's a new cookbook in our house and so I tend to try to cook through a lot of the recipes to get a sense of them. Today we're making the gado gado with Indonesian peanut sauce and I may be saying that right. Perhaps it's gado or gado or gado, I don't know. But this is her version of that. So you see she has her carrot coins, some diced potato, some half moon cucumbers, some bean sprouts, some broccoli, some rice, and then the peanut sauce is up in this little corner here. And she's got it all decorated in a very specific way as if she cooked all of these three things here separately. We didn't. So let me kind of walk you through. So I've done a lot of the prep work already today. That is sometimes my story. Um, I started by dicing up my potatoes. So the recipe called for baby potatoes that would then be cut into a one inch kind of dice. So with baby potatoes, what I did then was just cut in half like so. Um, however, it occurs to me as I was making it, if you're on a budget, you're just cutting potato into basically diced one inch or one and a half inch pieces. So it, it could well be cheaper actually just to buy a potato and cut it up. Um, then your carrot coins is just the standard peel a potato and she calls for like a quarter of an inch thick. The broccoli, uh, they were out of broccoli heads so I bought mine already in these florets for me. So what happened was I... I cut up my carrot and potato. In her recipe, she calls for steaming. I don't own a steamer, certainly not one that can hold this much food. So I did a, a quick boil. So first I cut up those potatoes and carrots, stuck them in with some water, left probably like this much above because I knew I was gonna add that broccoli, let those come to a boil. Once it came to a boil, I put the timer on for six minutes. At two minutes, I added the broccoli because I know the broccoli cooks a little faster. At the end of that two minutes, I wanted a little bit more on the broccoli, so I let it go another couple minutes. So altogether, eight minutes of cooking, four minutes with the broccoli. But you could add the broccoli sooner because the carrots and uh, potatoes could have been done at six. Then I just drained them and they are good to go. This salad can be served warm or room temperature or even cold, so I won't worry about what these te the temperature of these are. They're just done. A whole bunch of veggies, including potato, so beautiful too. Cucumber, half moons. She took the seed out of the middle. A lot of people like to do that. I don't. My family does not mind the seed. It's a little bit faster. So I have two cucumbers cut up here. She had bean sprouts. My store was out of bean sprouts. So we are going to substitute organic pea shoots. Kind of a similar idea, but they'll be green. Um, and then the cilantro, so it calls for like two tablespoons of cilantro. I don't measure that way. I just take a bunch of cilantro and take a reasonable portion off. So this is in a half cup container. I have no idea if that equals four tablespoons or not. But when working with cilantro, I've seen people do all kinds of things. I've seen people take as much as they can from the top and just cut whatever stems are in there are in there. I've seen people very tediously remove the leaves so that it's perfect. I've done both. <laughs> uh, in this case, I very quickly took a downward motion on the lower leaves and just an upward motion. So I have some stems in there because this upward motion was very quick. Uh, do what makes you happy. People have feelings about how much stem they want to eat. And so if you get too much stem, it's definitely not enjoyable. But, and then her peanut sauce had ingredients I didn't have, like tamarind paste. So this is a version of the almond noodle sauce from a recipe I made last week, only I used peanut butter instead of almond butter. So this one has peanut butter, soy sauce, in my case, coconut aminos, um, rice wine vinegar, miso, sesame oil, garlic, ginger. So, and then that all gets moved together and you add water as needed. I probably added a half cup water or more so that this would get to this consistency. So you do want it to be spreadable. You don't want it to be globby once you add it on. And then the rice 
is in the rice cooker with five minutes to go. The recipe calls for two cups of cooked rice, so I do four. Um, I also added in a cup of red lentils because I used red lentils in a dish yesterday, but not the whole bag. What am I gonna do with that? So adding a little bit of lentil gives you a little extra protein. It'll give a little color, it'll be beautiful. And so that is the meal. You basically just assemble. So for a family like ours, we leave here for extracurriculars. I pick people up from work. We, I bring half the family home and they eat and then the other half comes home with me again and we all eat. This is a great way for that to happen. This food does not have to be hot or cold, right? It can be made at a time that's convenient. I can pull it out of the fridge or I could put it in the microwave and have whatever kind of salad we want. But also a person who maybe is struggling with their vegetables can have less vegetable and more rice or like even our baby will eat cucumbers. So you can kind of play with the amounts. I always make a little extra sauce. So hopefully the littles feel like they're getting some kind of a treat with that. So this is a really reasonable meal for making those random things and needs work. Also, when it's time to make lunches, I can actually pack lunches tonight before I pack up leftovers. I can get little like sandwich containers, the plastic ones, and just organize, close the lid. Their lunches will be packed and ready to go for tomorrow, which is a beautiful thing because again, these salads can be served warm or room temperature or cold. So that is that meal. I hope that you enjoy it. I think this is our first time making this particular one. I've made another one that has plum and then similar ingredients, but the carrot, the potato, the broccoli aspect of this is new for me. I'm looking forward to that. I think I'm done with like red cabbage, bean sprouts, tofu, plum, that kind of a thing. So you see, even in that, right, one cookbook gives you one kind of a recipe, another one gives you a slightly different one. Try them out, see what you prefer, mix and match. It's kind of the fun of food. And in the meantime, I hope you have a great day and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.